in that vision alone that gets presented to the tribunal, they did do that. Uh, it's, it's asking an interesting question of the, yep. of the panel. So, uh, Fritz is in great form. Sam Walsh is in uh, extraordinary form. Putting together a couple of uh, seasons that are going to have him compared to Chris Judd. Yeah, hand high in the air. Well, we did something just for um, on radio and we re redrafted that draft and I didn't have him as number one. I just got that wrong. Mm. I got it wrong on the basis of his continued improvement. That That's an indicative performance for what a 20-year-old should be. He's, he's twice as good almost. <laughs> There's only one player ever... That's got a higher rating than him under 21 years of age, and he's playing at the moment. You know who it is? It's Cosy Pickett. They've got the work rate of oh. Walsh. That's a that's champion yeah. time of that today. Oh. So this is this is what I want to know: is why don't they pick him off, or what, not not pick yeah. him off literally, but why aren't they? That's McGrath is his opponent. So he's got great field position there, McGrath. Now look, I think he, McGrath pushes and tries to cover two players than one, but he, what he does is he leaves the most dangerous. He leaves Walsh on the inside open, and and he gets picked off on the way through. So. I mean, this wasn't the gut buddy, no. gut busting yeah. work rate that we know he's capable of. He this looks shagged the... just there, just quietly. He looks like he's floundering. Uh, uh, McGrath? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. And that's the hard work. You, you know, if you're in deficit and all of a sudden you've got to do it, you, you can be sorted out. But the the point is, though, that there's you... more than just one that could, could have got him. Look, look at these three. Yeah. I mean, you've got to be aware that this bloke is a running machine who yeah. runs the lines. Yeah. If you want to know what running the lines means, he's deep in defence. All of a sudden, look at this. And that's Tex Perkins, I think, the young man. There, yeah. who's fair enough, he's young. Mm. But if you want to get to the level, uh, Archie, don't just let don't let him walk, run past you, and then run into space he, like this. He's got a bit of the Robert Harvey's about him too, Sammy. He looks, yeah. bu he looks buggered half the yeah. time. So he's but he just powers but, you know, on. You've got to wonder now as you yeah. do your homework, because he's the most important player in that side. If you see him on the yeah. run, take off. And he is. And take him. He's gone past Cripps. Yes. And, and given that we've spoken about a young midfielder, Brownie, you better talk about a young forward for Oh, can I? Can you? It's on the run down. Brownie oh, wants to talk about it. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> how, how can I forget? <laughs> no, oh, look, Harry Mackay. What I'm going to say, great effort by him. He was down the first half, kicked four in the second half. Had gastro coming into the game, so yeah. it was crook. To me, you don't often see it. This bloke's got the it factor about him. As a big key forward, he's got that killer instinct. He's Doesn't got the it. competitiveness to be able to cope with that role at a major football club, and he's going to carry the hopes of Carlton on his back. And I look at him, the only other young forwards I can see in the comp have got that it factor about them as key forwards are Norton and Oscar Allen at the West Coast Eagles. So, uh, very exciting for Carlton fans going forward, but you've got an absolute... One for the ages there. I said this last week that I don't think they're far away from contending. And I know they beat Essendon and they're a young side coming through. But Sam petreski Seaton, I think, is a chance to be a midfielder. And they're playing him across the half-back line. And it's their midfielders that have to <laughs> be found. That. Now, those yeah. numbers <laughs> speak about what the issue is with this kid. He's a good decision-maker and he's a bloody good kick given an opportunity. Yeah. If they can address their midfield... All the magnets are in place for a crack at the uh, contention level at the, at, uh, the both ends. Yeah, well, so much that is going to occur over the next few years for Carlton is going to uh, hinge on what those fringe players like Paddy Dow, who got subbed out and gave Petreski Seaton the opportunity on the weekend, and, and he took it. So, Stocker. Stocker. Stocker to half back's been a, a really good yeah. move, I think, from David Teague. He looks really comfortable behind mm. the footy. He's, he's tough, he's brave, he wins it. Um, so, so I think they've just got to persist. I think they're going to have to wear some average performances, but the continuity to just keep playing them and giving them opportunities is... Because, so, I mean, it's, it's contingent on those guys, where they go. Would you go and get a Mitch Wallace? Uh, oh, no, I don't, I don't think I would. I, I think you need bona fide mids. Now, now maybe he can, he can become that player. He's been squeezed out of the yeah, midfield of the clear. Bulldogs for obvious reasons, but... No, I'd, I'd, I'd invest in what I have. He, well, might be run, he might be running around on the MCG Friday night. He may well be. Yeah. Uh, whilst you're running hot, 